Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kayla, Kinky Curly Kayla, whichever you prefer to call me. And today I'm here to bring you a little review. This video is in partnership with Impressions of Beauty and Rucker's Roots. And um, I'm going to review Rucker's Roots, <laughs> if you didn't guess. Um, so they actually sent me a daily leave-in, as well as a curl cream. So, um, I guess we can just hop right into it. And let me just start with this daily leave-in. It has ginger, turnip, and carrots. Um, and let me tell you, I've never heard of Rucker Roots, so I was actually really excited to try this because it's out of my comfort zone. I've never heard of it, so I was like... Okay, well, you know, let me try it. So, it says this daily leave-in is good for wash and goes, natural styles, and for heat styling. For all hair types, moisturizes hair, detangles hair, refreshes curls, and then they give their little backstory on here. But, apply daily leave-in conditioner to wet or dry hair. can be used as a daily refresher, detangler, and our styling aid to moisturize dry strands and enhance curls. No rinsing is necessary. And, um, obviously, keep it out of your eyes. So, I'm really not big on spray leave-ins except... I like they're thick, which I had to smell it first, and it really does smell like vegetables. But it smells like sweet vegetables, if that makes sense. Like the ginger makes it sweet, but you can still smell that carrot in it. I like it. Um, so I, like I said, I'm not big on leave-ins unless they're thick, and I've only run across one. But this is my second leave-in, um, and I actually did use the Rutgers on my hair, so I'll show you guys at the end. But let me show you this leave-in. So the daily leave-in, I'm gonna show you right here. Spray it on my hand. Do you see? I can't waste too much. But you see how thick it is? And I'm going to just rub it in. But you can just put it in your hair. Okay. But it's really thick. And like you see the, it's still dripping off there. But it's really thick. And I love that. And it's moisturizing. So 10 out of 10 on this. I highly recommend it. I used quite a lot. But it's, you don't need a lot if you pair it with the curl cream. Because the curl cream is thick itself. So I actually use this for a wash and go. Um, my hair is flaky, unfortunately, because it didn't need a gel. This product does not need a gel. It doesn't work well with gels because it's thick enough without a gel. And I don't know like why I was trying to be slick and play myself, but it doesn't like need a gel at all. So all you really need is this product. And if you put like oil either in between or after, then it works. So you can do it for a twist out, which is what I recommend. Or you can use it as your gel in your wash and go. Because it is just that thick. And I was not expecting it to be that thick. So 10 out of 10 on this. Um, and then we're going to move on to the curl cream. So you guys can see. I'm so big on curl creams. They have to be moisturizing. They have to be just amazing. So um, I should back to the leave-in real quick. Because like I, th I said the leave-in was moisturizing. And it didn't take that much to spray. Um, I think that's really all I had to say about it. Because it was really good leave-in. It's 100% vegan. Cruelty free. And I was really happy with the results because I found out like it sprayed thick and I was like, oh, yay, it's going to work on my hair because my hair likes thick products. So this is really good for type 4 hair. If you like thick, thicker creams and thicker leave-ins, it's literally like, you know, it's really good. I was going to say it's like a pump. Um, it's like it's that consistency. It's just super thick, as you saw. Like when you spray it out, it's no water. So recommend. Now let's go to the Ginger Turnip Carrot Curly Cream Improves Curl Powder, Defines Curls, Moisturizes Strands. Um, backstory, ingredients, yada, yada, yada. Apply liberally to clean, condition hair, apply cream, use fingers or wide tooth comb to distribute. Use for two strand twist, wash and go, or spiral, red, or spiral rod sets, um, a lot of air dry, etc, etc. So, opening the cream right now, I've already used this. It smells just like the leave-in, so you can smell that ginger, but it's like, like vegetable, but sweet vegetables, if that makes sense. Now, I want you to see this cream right here. Like, you see that? And I want you to see how thick... Hold on. It's thick. Like, it's not coming out. You see that, right? So, this cream is super thick. So, when I applied it, um, I noticed how thick it was. But I was like, let me just top it with a gel. Do not top this cream with a gel. Use it by itself. Use it for a two-strand twist. Use it for a wash and go. But do not top it with a gel. Because, one, it flakes with gels. I might have been heavy-handed on the gel. But I think it just flakes with gels because it does not need one. You saw how thick it was. I literally turned it over and nothing came out. So, do not top it with a gel. I think that this will be so great for a twist out and I'm definitely gonna try for a twist out and like I'll post pictures and stuff so make sure you're following me on Instagram make sure you're following Rickers Roots on Instagram make sure you're following um, Impression of Beauty on Instagram but I really recommend this it's so thick 
like oh guys you don't understand like you understand because you saw how like when i put it out it's just thick so this will be such a good twisting cream i love thick creams um i would personally just like gels when i do washing clothes but for twist outs and flat twist outs and rod sets and with stuff where it's just like more cream based and you want more fluff i recommend this so together like i said 10 out of 10 for both of them and i highly recommend this i want to thank impressions of beauty and i want to thank Rutgers roots for these products so let's get into what you really want to see you know i'm saying the hair so i did my hair on early wednesday morning it is friday right now when i topped it with the gel this product was so moisturizing it did two things like one on one side it didn't absorb the gel at all and it flaked and it didn't mix with the gel the other side it literally like ate the gel up i don't know if i just applied a different amount of product on my hair which i probably did but it uh, like it ate the gel basically and like it just left it moisturized it's like literally just a cream in my hair you see how fluffy it is this is day two hair and it looks like it's day four hair so again i highly recommend i would prefer preferably do it with a twist out if you do choose to use this like twist out's the way to go so here is my hair again this is day two i guess you could say day two hair um and it looks like day three hair but it is very fluffy now you can see the flakes and it's literally i hate it I don't know, I'm so mad at myself for using the gel because it's like Flake City in Kayla Town right now. And I don't, <laughs> it's snowing in Kayla World, it's Flake, Flakey Flake City, it's all of that. Like, why does it need to flake? I was just drenched, it looked like dandruff, it was gross. Um, when you blow dry, I stretched it with the blow dryer, it helped a little bit, but it's flaky. So look, you guys can see, I know you can see that white stuff, I know, I know you can, I know. I know, I play myself right. Look, I'm trying to show you guys the full effect. But, um, other than that, like, it's my fault that it's flaking. It's really my fault. So let me show you guys. Because it did not need to be paired with a gel. And that was my fault for assuming I should have tested it. Can you guys see my hair? Okay, wait. It's my fault for assuming that it needed a gel. But it didn't. So... That is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow all the pages on um, Instagram. On Instagram, my page, Impressions of Beauty and Rutgers Roots. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, <laughs> do you see this hair, though? It does look good. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, guys. Bye.